Hey, welcome back. Um, in the last tutorial, I was uh, working on setting up the quad UI environment inside of the uh, your Unity scene. And also, I delved into working with part of the framework and getting simple interaction and, and stuff working. Um, in this tutorial, I'm actually going to uh, set up two different screens and get transitioning uh, working between the two of them so you can move back and forth between the screens. Um, before we get started with that, though, uh, I released yesterday a, uh, a new version of Quad UI, so go ahead and head over to uh, quadui.com and uh, download uh, beta 1.2.2. Uh, and that actually, it adds a few uh, API calls uh, that actually makes uh, screen transitioning um, a lot uh, easier. So go ahead and uh, download that. And uh, you want to make sure that before you uh, install the new one, uh, just delete everything that we have uh, installed right now. So uh, we have a uh, editor scripts folder, a plugins folder, and uh, the shaders folder. So just select all of those and when you delete them it's gonna break a lot of stuff. You'll see the shader go pink and stuff because it's it's null. And you get some errors. Um, that's all fine and good. Um, go back into browser here, launch it, and that will launch right there inside of uh, of the Unity editor. Just click import and you'll see everything will just go back to normal just how we want it. Good deal. Okay, so now we can get started with uh, connecting some screen transitions to our two screens and stuff. Um, we're pretty much right where I left off at the end of the of the other tutorial, except for uh, I've added a few new quads and stuff to the, to the scene and roughed up um, a settings menu. Uh, full of some things. Um, I also went and took the liberty of uh, already creating the uh, the transition animations. Um, I'll take a little bit of time to explain those, but I'm not going to get too involved um, with how how to do animating in uh, in Unity, uh, mainly because there's already some tutorials out there that really cover that well, and it would just be kind of redundant for me to uh, take your your uh, your time. So what do we have here? Um, to start, uh, we've got our scripts, main menu, and menu manager that we made in the last uh, tutorial. Um, if you uh, if you need a refresher, go ahead and just uh, go back and watch those uh, those videos. Um, so what we're going to do here is from the main menu screen, we are going to have these two buttons, and one is play, which isn't really going to do anything, um, and one is settings. And when we click on settings, what's going to happen is all the the nice play or the play button and the, and the settings button and the logo is going to uh, actually leave the screen, um, leave the viewable area of, of the camera, and uh, and be hidden. And then the the stuff from the settings menu is actually going to come in. And then when you click on the exit button, which is hidden behind the logo right now, but when you click behind the uh, the exit button, um, you're going to uh, go back to the main menu. Um, so I'm going to show you how to program that. And also apply all the uh, the animation uh, clips for the transitions. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So if we hit play right now, uh, nothing's really going to happen. Um, of course, we have the built-in, uh, just sort of out of the box mouse events that will just uh, will just work on their own. Um, we have the toggle that has its different states. Uh, it doesn't really do anything, and uh, the settings button has. Uh, has its mouse states as well, and if we hit play, uh, we'll get that uh, message from the previous tutorial um, where I was explaining uh, button um, interaction and events. So, but uh, but nothing actually uh, to sort of constitute this a as an actual menu. It just has some buttons that are sitting there that you can kind of play with, um, but they don't uh, transition between two menus. And you'll see that right now everything's just kind of floating, floating there. When we're going to want things to move in and out. So uh, what we need to do to get things started is actually uh, we need to add a second menu. So we need to actually create a new script. So we'll just go create C sharp script. And we're going to call this settings menu. And settings menu, just like main menu, is going to extend screen 2D. So it gets all of the uh, the built-in stuff there, 
and very similar to uh, to main menu. Let's just open up main menu. We're going to have a reference to a button, and then we're going to uh, use the init function um, instead of awake, since Screen 2D uses awake um, for its own initialization purposes, and then fires init from awake so that uh, the execution order stays the same. Um, so we're going to uh, override in it and then we're going to add an event just like we do here to the button and then we're going to need a function that gets called from that uh, from that event so let's go ahead and actually we'll just copy this stuff over since uh, we're only going to be changing a few things so instead of play button we're going to call this exit button And we're going to say, instead of on play, let's just call this um, exit screen. And there we go. Um, we won't bother with these. We'll just delete these. And the only thing that we're going to need to do is actually just tell the screen to close. And I'll explain why. Uh, but this sort of thing it's extremely easy it's already a built-in method from screen 2d you just say screen 2d go ahead and just close um, now for main menu uh, we need to add another button so we're just gonna say uh, public button 2d um, we're gonna call this settings button so that we can uh, attach event to the settings button and we're going to say settings button just copy this, add event listener, and then we're going to say instead of on play, on settings. And we'll copy this. There we go. And for on settings, uh, we are going to now communicate with the manager. This is where the manager comes into play. Is uh, Every screen 2D has a reference to the manager. You can either set it manually um, in the inspector. Which is uh, right here. You can set it manually or if you don't, uh, since you're already caching the screens inside of menu manager and the array, if it doesn't have, a, if it, doesn't have it, then it will go ahead and uh, assign it for you. Let's just see what this error is here. Uh, on settings does not exist in current context. That's simple enough. Uh, 